happy Wakey Wednesday. Today we are taking it way, way back and I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes growing up. This is one of my mom's originals. It's not that original, but it's something that she used to make for us and it was literally our favorite thing to eat. The main thing in this recipe are these puff pastry shells. You get them in the grocery freezer dessert section. So don't go looking for the savory aisle by the potatoes and vegetables. Not for this. This is with all the desserts and the Cool Whip and everything like that. All right, you get the shells, not the sheets. We're also gonna use some frozen peas and frozen corn. You could throw carrots in there as well. I have them in this bowl here already. And I chopped up about two tablespoons of onion. I have my little pan here with some olive oil in it. You're just gonna dump your onion in there. You can also buy it pre-chopped if you want, and I'm just gonna brown it a little bit. Now browning is when you mix something with hot oil and it just gets a little toasted. Imagine you've been in the sun, you have a little tan, you want it looking like that, soften it up a bit. It'll start to smell really good too. Now we are also gonna use one of these rotisserie chickens, which you guys know I love. I've already shredded off half of a breast, a little bit of a leg, I had to give some to the dogs, so I have a little bit here. Now I'm making a serving for two. Now we're also gonna use Campbell's cream of chicken. It does not get any more old school than this or any more inexpensive. I'm gonna use about half the can. I've added a little bit of water. I added some water, stirred it. I'm not using milk, but if you want to, you can use half a cup of milk. All right, our onions are getting nice and toasty. So now we're gonna add the soup. You can also use fat-free if you prefer that, if you're trying to be really healthy with this. We're gonna add the frozen peas and corn and stir it in there. Make sure at this point you make sure your heat is real, real low because you don't want anything to burn. I've also added about two tablespoons of pimento because it gives it a really nice kick and that's how my mom made it. So we're gonna keep it classic Mrs. Z. And then we're gonna add our chicken. Dump it all in there. Stir it up. While this is cooking, we're gonna throw these bad boys in the oven and let them cook for 18 to 20 minutes. This is the most important thing in the whole recipe, all right? Before they're brown and when they're a little bit doughy still, you wanna take them out. This is the mama zinc secret way to do it. Take a fork while the dough is still raw and pull the center out flip them over. They're gonna add really nice side pieces and they're fun for dipping if you have kids or grown-up kids like I do, with my husband. All right, we're gonna throw them back in for another two or three minutes. You can see it's already getting a little toasty brown. We don't wanna burn them. So let's let these babies go and shuck on our filling. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper just for some color. I like to add a little and then add more if I need because as I wrote in the blog a couple weeks ago, I added too much garlic powder and really screwed the recipe. You saw how easy this was to make. It takes literally no time. The most amount of time is just waiting for this puff pastry shell to cook. All right, these guys are done. We're gonna plate it. Just like most of the wifey recipes, feel free to get messy with things. Throw it on there. And then, by the way, can you believe it's already time for holiday? Love mitts? I cannot either. Okay, we're just gonna dump it in there. We're gonna fill the little boats. And then get a little sloppy on the side. And there you have it. Cheap, easy, so delicious. And it's Kelly Zink and Mrs. Zink approved. Thanks for watching. For the full recipe, hit up the blog, thewifeykitchen.com. And thanks for watching.